Right, you lot, we are back once again on Pro Cycling Manager 2019, episode number 7 of the Bahrain McLaren career mode. Today's episode will be the Volta Ciclista a Catalonia. Um, following Paris and Tirreno Adrasco, we weren't that bad. Uh, um, obviously, there was episode 6 in between, um, which was Milan San Remo, Etro Arlbeck, uh, and well, I mean, all, all these classics, uh, which I haven't raced yet, so I don't know how it went. But yeah, uh, Volta Ciclista Catalunya, we're bringing uh, a decent team around here. We've got Marcel Seberg, Rafael Valls, Mikel Landa, Will Pouls, Mark Cavendish, Enrico Batalin, and Alfred Wright. Um, we're going to try and uh, capitalize on uh, the 98 fitness and fitness peak of Mikel Landa following his win on Paris Nice. Uh, and yeah, without further ado, let's jump in. 161 kilometers between Calleja, between Calleja and Calleja. Let's go. And we're on the way in Spain for the first stage of this Tour de Catalunya, sorry, Volta a Catalunya between Calleja and Calleja. Uh, it is the usual first stage of this Volta a Catalunya, no changes whatsoever here. Um, we're going to send someone in the break. I'm just trying to figure out who. Uh, possibly Albert Wright, but uh, no, actually, no, we're, we'll send Rafael Valls in the break. Already some attempts uh, at attacking. We have Anthony Roux, Mikel Biscara, Oscar Cabello, Sean Bennett, uh, Emmanuel Elosegui, I don't know, uh, or Ivan, maybe. Nope, I don't want to sprint with everyone. Uh, huge crash in the peloton. Huge, huge crash at the back. Uh, I think I saw Pierre Latour, if I'm correct. Indeed. Pierre Latour, there's someone from Ineos, that is Vasil Kirilenka, and Felix Groschartner. Groschartner is out of the Volta Catalonia. He will have raced uh, a solid 5 kilometers before um, before withdrawing from the race. Rafael Valls is at the front of the peloton, but we're going to wait until uh, the breakaway is allowed some space. And uh, so is Alfred Wright. All right, um, let's see if the peloton allows this breakaway to go. I don't believe that they will. Um, but if they, I mean, if they do, that's that's nice because I can counter attack. But it looks like, uh, oh, it's is that an attack from like Bartosz Perk? or is he just like pacing? I believe that he's pacing, which therefore means that the peloton is not keen on letting uh, this break will go. Uno X has been invited to the Cat the Volta Catalunya. I'm sorry. Who the fuck they have? Hulgard, Abrahamson. They've got no one. They've got Sven Verstead, but he's not even that good. That's weird. Uh, Mikel Biscara has attacked up front for uh, Euskadi. Who's that? Is that Jose? Yes, Jose Rada. Antoine Duchesne, uh, Fager Haug, Rob Power is there. I'm just waiting on uh, these guys to, like, on the peloton to come back on these guys. Come on, Flores and Baiz, mate. Do your work, please. Alright, we're closing in on, on uh, the uh, summer of the Porte de Santa Fe del, uh, del Monsoni, or Mont -Sané. We have a breakaway of 10 riders, Jesus, uh, Jose Rada, Francesco Vazzi, Sean Bennett, Rafael Valls, uh, Angel Madrazo, Chris Hamilton, Pascal Encorn, Anthony Roux, Mathieu Ladanius, and Pierre-Luc Perichon, 2FDG, uh, 2FDJ, sorry, and 2FCOFIDIS. We're just gonna take uh, the wheel of Francesco Gavazzi, that was the, uh, the one attack I was uh, waiting for. We're in second position, which is great. Uh, Sean Bennett has taken the six points at the Port de Colsacreu, second one. Uh, so we do have some catch up to do on Sean Bennett, who's in my wheel. Let's uh, try to counter attack Francesco Gavazzi now. Uh, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to hold on. And actually, I am not. I'm not going to take any points with Rafael Valser today. Uh, and that's, that's quite surprising. Uh, we're on seven points. Sean Bennett is on 18. Okay, I'm just hoping that I can recover some of my energy, uh, and maybe you can uh, tr try later on. There's still um, 38 points to take today. Everything is yet to play for. And huge L, huge L for Ajax Roman Bardet has withdrawn from the race. The leader of Ajax is out of the competition. Uh, that's that's massive. They'll have to uh, switch their focus on Tony Galopin and, uh, and Pierre Latour most likely, but that is huge. Very bad day for Romain Bardet, uh, especially him, who was targeting the um, Belgian Classics in April. Most likely will not be taking part in them. Alright, new climb coming up, uh, the uh, Alt El Montagna. It is very short, 2.4 kilometers, average gradient of 9%. Um, so it's not something we can... Uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's it's an important climb. We're going to try and take the wheel of Angel Madrazo. Uh, hopefully it's not too tough for uh, Rafael Valls. 
It's a shame that he's on the minus one. It really is a shame today. Uh, who's my real? Chris Hamilton, Sean Bennett, obviously Pascal Incorn, uh, and then the rest of these guys. I don't believe that I will be able to follow Angel Madrazo for much longer here. We're going to have to pace. Uh, we're going to be blocked by Angel Madrazo. Chris Hamilton has counter-attacked. Andre Madrazo in the wheel with Sean Bennett. Um, let's try to pace 99. I don't know if it's going to change anything. We do not have red bar, so it's not going to be an easy task at all. Pascal Incon is going to overtake us. So will Francesco Gavazzi. Um, and we will take second place, actually, in this climb, uh, making that plus 12 for us. Plus 16 for Hamilton, who takes the lead. 26 for Hamilton, 22 for Incon, 22 for Sean Bennett, and 19 for Rafael Valls. Up next uh, is another first category climb, the Col Formic in just over 10 kilometers. All right, approaching the summit of the call for me, but I don't believe like I can. I mean, I, I know I can't attack. I physically cannot attack with Rafael Valls. The rhythm has been really high. Uh, some riders like Jose Rada have been dropped. Um, we're just going to try and stay in the wheels for now. But it's going to be another 16 points, I believe, for Chris Hamilton, unless he gets overtaken by Pierre-Luc Perrichon. He doesn't. And it's going to be third place, actually, for, uh, for Rafael Valls. So it's not too bad we still recover 10 points i believe yep 10 points but chris hamilton uh will be leading okay can i not see the classification nice great enrico batalian is wow why has the rhythm gone up that much interesting i've only got two riders left Whirlpools and Mikel lander nice Nice, 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 nice. Um, okay, well, let's recover energy in the, in the breakaway with uh, Rafael Valls. And uh, let's assess the situation uh, at the, uh, well, after the intermediate sprint, if we're still in the lead. But I believe that we will. 2.4 km until the summit of the uh, Port de Col Sacreu. Is that the first climb of today? It is the first climb of, um, of today. But um, it is, wait, my sentence was not English, I swear to God. Uh, but it is the uh, exact same climb as the one that we crossed in the first uh, in the first time today. One kilometer until the summit, Pascal Incon is uh, the first to make a move with Angel Madrazo in this wheel and Rafael Valls. We are low on red, but we're mainly we're also low on yellow. Uh, it's still not going to prevent us from taking six points. That is very good, very good. Um, Chris Hamilton is therefore going to be first. Rafael Valls second, only three points behind Chris Hamilton, between Hamilton and Rafael Valls. And Real Madrazo is third, uh, then I think it's Sean Bennett. And uh, potentially Pierre-Luc Perrichon or Angel Madrazo. No, I think I've said Angel Madrazo already. I'm going to guess Pierre-Luc Perrichon just by, um, by purely guessing. Also, the breakaway will most likely win, as always in this stage. Gap is nearly three minutes. And there is 15 kilometers left for the peloton, 13.4 for the breakaway. Rafael Valls may have a chance to get the, the dub today. I did not take any uh, bonus seconds, though, at the intermediate sprints. So even in, if I win, uh, a W might not necessarily mean, uh, sorry, might not mean that I take the leader's jersey. Six kilometers until the line. We're going to take the wheel of Sean Bennett. Uh... Because I believe that he's the best wheel to take. He's still relaying as well. Oh, that's nice. Because uh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm definitely not relaying. Let's see. Uh, I mean, I, I think the best move would take would be to take the wheel of the highest rate um, ranked rider in the breakaway. And that appears to be Sean Bennett. Nice. Everyone is slowing down. The peloton is going to catch us at this rate. Brilliant. Brilliant. Come on, Sean, mate. Make your move. Chop, chop. 138, 130, 126, 124. Thank God we're not in a hurry, because... Alright, I'm sorry, I'm sprinting. I'm launching my sprint. Um, I was about to, like, wait for way too long here. The peloton is there already. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to guess Pascal Encorn is going to overtake me. Yep. Andrel Madrazo as well. And the win for... Pascal Encorn ahead of Sean Bennett. Chris Hamilton, Andrel Madrazo, Pierre Perichon, we finish last of the breakaway. But I don't really care, if I'm honest. Uh, Peloton Sprint is won by Luke Mesgetch, ahead of Patrick Bevin and Mikel Landa, and Tadej Pogacar. Okay, well, we take 6th place. I don't know if there's going to be any gaps. Uh, I don't... Actually, there might be some gaps, uh, but the leader's jersey might be Pascal Incorn. I don't know. Alright, win for Pascal Incorn. Gap is 41 seconds over the Peloton. GC-wise... He takes the lead over Sean Bennett and Chris Hamilton. 
so the the sprint is the, yeah the order of the GC is the one of the sprint that uh, there is no no uh, no changes there. Points wise, he takes the lead. Mountain wise, Chris Hamilton takes the lead. Best from is Pascal Incorn as we'll now go to the second stage, which I think is flat. Yep, Mataro, uh, San Feliu de Guichols. Hopefully, a chance for Mark Cavendish today. Right, we're on the way for the second stage of uh, the Volta Catalonia. Nothing much to play for here, for Manis. Um, I mean, obviously, we'll try and, uh, and grab the W with Mark Cavendish. It's not going to be an easy task because uh, uh, there is two uh, consecutive hills. Before the, the the line and the finish actually is uh, is on the hill. Not sure if Mark will have uh, the abilities to beat someone like Luka Mesgech uh, or Sprinter of that of, of that caliber. What I'm also going to try and do, which appears to be complicated, seeing his position in the peloton, was to try and have Rafael Valls uh, in the first uh, attacks. I know he wouldn't have been able to uh, go fully in the break, but if the peloton was pacing. Um, Against the breakaway, there could have been a chance of Rafael of Rafael Valls going in the breakaway for the uh, Aldir Can Bordeaux, take the six points and be in the lead of the mountain classification. But uh, that appears to be a, a solid no. So with uh, that disappointment, we'll move to uh, the end of the stage. A huge crash at the back. Um, there are still two riders on the floor. Vincent Langelotti, the only rider from Monaco actually on PCM uh, and Azor Mendy, but also in the crash. Was uh, where Chris Froome, Joe Dombrowski, Luis Leon Sanchez, uh, Hugh Carthy, Luis Villalobos, um, David, de la David de la Cruz now races for UAE. Wow, they've really made some shit signings this season. Mad. Um, well, yeah, they're going to come back in the peloton. But it's another crash for Chris Froome. Uh, he fell, I think, on Paris -Nice. Yeah, he fell on Paris -Nice, and he's now falling on the Catalonia. Uh, he... He better get his, his his act together, otherwise he might have to, like, I don't know, think about something other than cycling. Alright, 8 kilometers left, we're going to make our train. Uh, now, I need to make an interesting train. A train that would be able to, like, go over these two climbs, but a train that would be quite rapid. That means Mark Avenage behind Marcel Seabag. It's not going to go well. I just, I can feel it. Uh, we'll have Rafael Valls and Wout Pools in the train. This is not going to be a good thing. I, I can't see how I can do well with Mark Cavendish here. I just don't. We're going to catch the last three guys in the breakaway. Uh, the end of the road for uh, Elosegui, Rivera and uh, Hulgard. Not Daniel Hulgard, another Hulgard. 6k until the line. Whirlpools, Rafael Valls, Marcel Seberg, Mark Cavendish. That is the uh, train for us on the left we've got the train for CCC with Jan Barta Victor de la Parte I'm gonna guess Patrick Bevin is slightly behind indeed he is uh, we're gonna make sure that Mikel Landa stays at the front we're gonna use the gel Lotto are starting to accelerate maybe for uh, uh, if they're sprinting for Nicolas Mace that is I mean ropes it really is if they're sprinting for Philippe Gilbert then it's better Let's make sure that Marcel Seberg and Mark Cavendish are in uh, their respective wheels before starting the sprint. Uh, Mark Cavendish isn't. Mark Cavendish is in the wheel of Jan Barta right now. There goes Marcel Seberg. And there goes Mark Cavendish. Can Mark Cavendish get his first ever win with Bahrain McLaren? Can he hold on until the line? The answer will be no. Sadly, the win today for Luke Mesgec ahead of Mark Cavendish and Patrick Bevin. That's a shame, that's a shame, that's going to be another, yet another second place for Mark Cavendish this year, as Baragli and uh, Whirlpools will complete today's top 5. Disappointing second place, uh, but it's still a podium nonetheless for, me, uh, for Mark. Finally, in the mountains, uh, on this Tour de Catalunya, Vuelta Catalunya, I'll never get this, fucking hell. Uh, it's not even Vuelta, it's Vuelta Catalunya. Whirlpools has a plus 1, Wright has a plus 3, Rafael Valls has a plus 4. Mikel Landa has nothing, but it's it's good. We'll we'll make this work either way. Um, well, is there a mountain stage tomorrow? Is there uh, the uh, La Molina? Yeah, okay, there is. So this is important, but not so much. Chris Hamilton, what do you mean you're going in the break? Right, who do you think you are to go in the break? You're literally third of the GC. Like, why? They're going to let them go. They're going to let him go. Big man, you're th you're th you're for oh there's Andrel Madrazo as well. 
What's happening? Why isn't the pe Why did the guys in the breakaway crash? Why is my team in the breakaway? <laughs> so many questions. Um, okay, well, we're gonna let them have their fun. I'm not gonna put Rafael Valls in the break because Rafael Valls will have to be uh, helping Mikel Landa in uh, La Molina. Nope, in Valter 2000, my bad. Uh, Valter 2000, I guess. Um, I, have, I don't know, actually. But, uh, oh, crash for Pierre Latour. Hell, is that... And crash for Tony Gallopin. Wow, AG2 in the sauce. Like, they've lost Romain Bardet and... Uh, well, they've lost Romain Bardet on the first day. And they have now lost Pierre Latour. Huge, huge L. Very substantial L for, uh, for AG2 La Mondiale. Actually, you know what? It's not AG2 anymore. It's AG2L. Because they've taken both L's. Such dead banter, jeez. <laughs> Alright, uh, Rafael Valls can stop his rhythm. What do you mean? Oh, okay, I wasn't pressing the, the, correct, key, the correct key. Nice. Wright can stop his rhythm. Uh, who's in the break? Chris Hamilton. Is he going to take points? Mm, most likely. Do I really give a shit? Absolutely not. Alright, there is no breakaway anymore. Um, so we're going to put Rafael Valls on a, on, on a little mission here. Uh, you've got one kilometer, and your aim is simple. Get 16 points to take the lead in the mountain classification. Um, I also need to get some water with, uh, with, with the guys. Uh, well, Pauls will probably be on... Um, well, actually, no, Enrico Battalion will be on water duties. I had Alfred Wright, uh, but he just didn't deliver. Um, and that's fine by me. Uh, he'll just, I mean, be uh, prevented from getting any pay until uh, he manages to get the water to the guys. Battalion will uh, now be on water duty. Rafael Valls is 7 points clear of Chris Hamilton in the mountain classification following the uh, Port Doich. Doich? What the fuck am I saying? The Port Doua. You know what? We'll take my most, my, my Frenchest accent. The Port Doua. There we go. Up next is going to be the Port de Rocabruna and we'll finish in Valter 2000. There we go. French ad it's best. All right, 23 kilometers remaining. We're approaching the intermediate sprint of Lianars. Um, it's Sepkus taking the lead of the peloton with Pascal Hincorn in the wheel, uh, which is odd, but why not? We're going to make our train here. Uh, so what is going to be my train? Do I go Rafael? I'm going to go up balls behind Rafael Valls. It makes more sense. It's what I do usually. Pascal Hincorn is going on his own. Have fun. Uh, have a good day in the break, mate. Enjoy your day. Uh, I mean, he's the leader of the GC, so he might as well do with every what he really wants. Um, that's very odd, though, because he's he's taken three seconds. Woohoo! You're not gonna retain your jersey at the end of the of the stage. You're not even the leader of your team, big man. Like Primoz Roglic is there, so stop it. Rafael Valls, Mikel Landa, sorry, Pauls, Mikel Landa. That's uh, the train we're running with. Uh, there is a huge, huge conglomerate of uh, Trek and UAE riders here. Who are their respective leaders? I'm gonna guess Tadej Pogacar maybe for um, for UAE? Mm, yep, Tadej Pogacar and Vincenzo Nibali. Okay, nice. Nice. Well, we started um, the climb, well, we properly started Valter 2000. Rafael Valls is leading the peloton with the Opals and Mikel Landa in the wheel. Uh, we want to be the one imposing the rhythm and not the one um, being, um, well, imposed the rhythm, if that, made, if that makes any sense. Pascal Incorn uh, is going to be out of this peloton in uh, a very little time. There it is. The yellow jersey is not in the leading group anymore as uh, we uh, have now just on the seven kilo just over 7 kilometers left. Still Rafael Valls at the front. Wopuls, Mikel Landa, David de la Cruz, Vincent Sonibeli attacking. Attack by Vincent Sonibeli. And it's a very early. But maybe the, he'll count on the, the uh, elements of surprise. I don't know. Emmanuel Burman is in the wheel with David de la Cruz. Jacob Fulsang. Why is David de la Cruz here? Okay, I'm guessing he's pacing for Pogosa, yeah. Uh, I'm also going to use my uh, my teammates. I'm not going to attack straight away with Mikel Landa. But it's a very strong attack from Vincent Sonibeli, proving that despite being a billion years old, uh, he's still somewhat capable of, uh, of uh, making gaps. Pogosa is right next to Rafael Valls, who has made a stellar job. Really good job today by uh, Rafael Valls. Emmanuel Burman is now the one pacing with Tadej Pugatar, Jakob Fulsang, then Wopuls, Mikel Landa, we've got Egan Bernal, Chris Froome, 
Fucking hell, what do you mean Egan Bernal is a teammate here? I hate this team. Uh, Carapaz and Nibali are running away with it. And Chris Froome is attacking. Uh huh. Interesting. Why the fuck would he be doing that? I don't know. Uh, Mikel Landa is now going to uh, try to stay with uh, this group. Nibali is most likely going to get dropped by Richard Carapaz in the upcoming meters. There it is, Vincenzo Nibali can't follow anymore the uh, rhythm of the Ecuadorian. And it's an attack from Egan Bernal and the Peloton, who's been blocked by Vincenzo Nibali, doing uh, the, the work everyone wanted him to. Bernal catching... Oh, fucking hell. Bernal is catching Carapaz. Pogutsa is still in the of Bernal. Pogutsa is going to counter both in your Riders and die. Okay, great. So it's a 1-2 for Ineos, Bernal ahead of Carapaz, ahead of Tadej Pogacar, and Mikel Landa. I'd say it's been a decent day at the office for us. Um, the two guys beating us are slightly better climbers than, uh, than we are. Bernal, Carapaz, Landa, Pogacar, Primus Roglic, Vincent Sonibeli, Emmanuel Buchmann, Jakub Fulsang, Tony Galopin, and to complete the top 10, we'll have none other than former Ineos rider, Wout Pulse. Uh, I mean, Ineos are too good. They just are too good. Right. Uh, Egan Bernal won today's stage ahead of Carapaz. We finish in third place. Mikel Landa uh, just in the same second as Tadej Pogacar. Primoz Roglic in fifth place. I believe we've done a good job. Uh, we had not a great day with Mikel Landa, but that's something like we can work on that tomorrow if we have a better day. And Ineos are just, I mean, they're, they're, they're just too good. They're too good. Carapaz had nearly a minute lead. And Bernal was like, you know what? Not on my watch. Let me catch you. I mean, fair, because doing that really helped us not being a minute behind Carapaz in the GC. So yeah, cheers, Egan. Um, GC-wise. I mean, Bernal, Carapaz, Mikel Landa, Pogotar, Roglic, Nibali, Bourgoin, Fulson, Galopin, and Wout Pulse. Uh, Rafael Vaz in 14th position. He's the highest rated uh, rider in, uh, well, in the group that was in the uh, in the breakaway of day one. Mountain-wise, we take the lead, though. 67 points. Points-wise, Luca Mesgech, best strong rider, Egan Bernal, as we now head towards La Molina, or oh, towards Lianars La Molina for the fourth stage of uh, the uh, Volta a Catalunya. All right, and we're on the way for uh, this... Queen stage of um of the Volta Ciclista Catalunya. I haven't played PCM in a while. Um because I mean you've seen this the stage three before. Uh I mean that I, I believe so. That would otherwise I've really fucked it up. Um but I recorded this like six days ago. Um and when I wanted to record, um a a tragedy in sp sports happened uh with Kobe Bryant passing away, uh, and yeah, it kind of ruined my mood to record, um, and I'm, I'm still not feeling great, but we'll, we'll have to deal with it, because uh, otherwise I wouldn't have anything to upload, and that's not something I can uh, I can go with. So, yeah, fourth stage today, between Lianars and La Molina, if I'm correct, uh, yep, 150 kilometers, Rafael Valls, uh, Wout Pulse, and Mikel Landa will be uh, my three main guys today. Rafael Valls, obviously, here to um, help Mikel Landa in his quest to uh, finish this uh, Volta Catalina in a good position. Already some attacks, uh, which isn't surprising. We've got Enrico Batale at the front. Uh, we'll have him reduce his rhythm. The same will be uh, applied to Mark Cavendish, uh, who, I mean, won't have to do anything today. Alfred Wright is the only rider in my team who is yet to be at the front. Actually, I believe that he is. All right, let's just take a look at uh, at the breakaway, uh, see what we're dealing with. We've got Bartosz Peak. Uh, I, I don't know how it's pronounced, so I'm going to say Peak for now. Uh, but if I'm wrong, uh, there's any, like, um, Hungarian... Hungarian? Yeah, I'm good. I think that's Hungarian. Uh, if there's any Hungarian watching uh, or a Hungarian, Hungarian speaking person, I mean, if, if you want to, like, tell me how you'd pronounce uh, this name, then... Cheers, I guess. We've got Yannou Cabrambia, four tracks with Goffredo. We've got Juan. We'll go with Juan Garcia for Caoral. Uh, Anthony Roux for FDJ. Kilrainen. Uh, right, his, his stats have gone down. He used to be like a 70 everywhere. He's now a 68 everywhere. Uh, but yeah, Kilrainen, four tracks with Goffredo as well. 
Mikel Biscara for Euskadi, uh, winner on last year's Vuelta, I believe. Mikel Valgren for um, the team NTT. We've got Sergio Higuita for EF Education first. And finally, we have Angel Madrazo uh, for Burgos BH. And there's another Tamman group that's about to join. We've got Nance Peters for uh, Ajax de la Mondiale, Nelson Oliveira for Movistar. Jay Hindley for Sunweb Sunweb Segafredo, no, shut up. Sunweb, uh, Francisco Jose Ventoso for CCC. Marcus Hulgard for Uno X. Patrick Schilling for Israel Psych. No, Israel Stars of Nation, there we go. Uh, Luca Cerico for Androni, Mathieu Cataneo for De Koninck, and I believe that... Uh, oh, we've got Ben Dybal as well for uh, NTT, and I believe that this is the breakaway. Uh, Mathieu Ledenius, I don't think I had said his name previously. Uh, but yeah, 19 riders at the front of the race. 2 minutes 50 is uh, their gap over a peloton led by uh, a, um, a bunch of teams. We're approaching the uh, start of the Col des Coubettes. Well, uh, and yeah, I mean, we'll start taking uh, things into uh, into matter when uh, we'll uh, cross La Molina for the first time today. All right, we're about to start La Molina for the first time today, uh, and there is a, a little issue. Uh, we have lost um, uh, Rafael Valls. He slightly dropped. He's uh, around a minute behind. We're currently uh, with Carlos Verona. We got dropped in uh, the uh, Porte de la Crueta because the rhythm of the peloton was really high. Like that, you could see Michelanda and uh, Whitepools are still struggling to keep up, uh, despite being very good climbers. And uh, Mik um, Rafael Valls, despite having a plus five today, uh, sorry, a plus three, but a plus five in mountain, uh, he doesn't appear to be uh, in the uh, best shape of his career. Uh, I mean, no, he is in a very good shape, but he's just. Not good enough today. Mikel Landa at the front. Uh, we're slowly but surely catching some uh, guys dropped in the breakaway. The case of uh, Mikel Valgren, Kilrainen and Mathieu Ladanius. And um, just navigating 30 seconds ahead of the peloton led by um, Alexei Lutsenko. There we go. Wellpulse is there. So is Mikel Landa. There is 32 kilometers remaining in two days stage. And hopefully, hopefully, we can try and bring uh, a W for Mikel Landa. Right, we started La Molina for the final time today. There are there are some attacks up front. Uh, three riders have made a go, uh, gap. Sorry, we've got Ben Dybal, Nikel Biscara, and Nance Peters. Um, the following, sorry, the the rest of the breakaway is 30 seconds behind the peloton. Is two minutes actually behind um, behind the breakaway. So we might be looking at a win for uh, the riders up ahead. Anyone dangerous in the GC? Nance Peters 9:43. Catano seven minutes down. Nope, Katano is uh, the first direct threat. He's in uh, seven minutes behind the GC. So it's fine. The um, leadership of this tour will, will not be uh, contested by our rider from the breakaway. Nevertheless, we're still pacing up front with Mikel Landa and Wout Pulse, uh, trying to um, break the spirits of, of a few guys here and there. That's Patrick Bevin gone. Uh, George Bennett gone as well, which means that Primoz Roglic is now on his own. Um, with, with still at more than eight kilometers remaining. When uh, the uh, toughest part of the climb, maybe where uh, some riders could decide to attack, uh, maybe an attack from a rider from Ineos. Nope. Okay, so no Froome, uh, Froome, Bernal, or Carapaz. None of these three guys are going to attack. Rob Power is uh, trying to come back with uh, the help of Martin Tuesdelt and Nicolas Roche. Who's the leader of Sunweb? Is it? It's, it can't be Chris Hamilton. Can I? No, surely not. It's raw power. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, it's nicer responsibilities here for uh, for raw power. Wapples is going to uh, finish his work, which therefore means we'll attack with Mikel Landa and see uh, if the peloton follows. Yeah, they do. Yeah, okay, there's no point in attacking. There's literally no point in attacking here. And no one is going to really. No one's going to follow my rhythm. So we're just going to let the breakaway go. Oh, there goes Tadej Pogacar. Tadej Pogacar attacking. Chris Froome trying to chase him down. Nope, he stopped. So, why, what are they doing? What is Ineos' plan? They've literally just... So Chris Froome decided to stop with Egan Bernal in his wheel and let Tadej Pogacar go. That's so odd. That's so weird. Uh, can I take the wheel of someone? 
Yeah, I'll take the wheel of, uh, of Roglic then. Uh, but, I mean, Tyler Pogacar is in the lead. 10 seconds to go. Sorry, 10 seconds on um, on the peloton. 800 meters to go. One little hill that he will most likely finish in first place. Oh, actually, Tony Gallopin coming back. A rider from Ineos. Out of nowhere, Egan Bernal. Yep, yeah. I mean, he's too good. Bernal gets back-to-back -back wins ahead of Tadej Pogacar, Jakob Fulsang, Tony Gallopin, which is a very nice fourth pace. Chris from Michelanda, Emmanuel Bourman, Carapaz, Nibelin Roglic. Uh, we drop a position, I believe. Yeah, we do. We will lose a position on Tadej Pogacar. Uh, but it, it's fine. It happens. Wapols will finish uh, somewhere, but we'll lose a lot of positions today. Same for Rafael Valls, who's had a, a shocker. And GC was, that means that Bernal has a 14 seconds lead now over Richard Carapaz, 25 over Pegasar, 27 over Mikel and then Primoz Roglic a minute down. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a fight for, uh, for between all these four riders for uh, the podium position. Um, we are the one who got knocked out of the podium today. But let's make sure to come back. Uh, and it starts with a good performance between Puig uh, Sarda and San Cuga del Valles. All right, it's a new day. And um, it's also a new stage. That's the end of my point. Nice. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to send Rafael Valls in the breakaway today uh, to reclaim his uh, mountain jersey. Already right, some attacks at the front of the peloton though. Chirico, Nadi Navarro, Faga Haug, uh, Valgren, Angel Madrazo might be looking uh, to make a move which would make sense if we're being honest. Which is why I'm currently pacing with Mikel Landa and Wopuls. Uh, Wopuls is now dropped to 14th position sorry, of this GC. Mikel Landa is still fourth. Uh, Rafael Valls is still very much at the back. So uh, he's going to have some work to do. And huge work from Marcel Sieberg, which I was not aware he was in the breakaway. But he's done bits to, uh, to catch the break. Um, Rafael Valls in the wheel, which is brilliant. Uh, let's not slow the rhythm until uh, until like the first attacks. Because Marcel Sieberg has got a good acceleration on him. And that could be... Uh, really useful for uh, someone like Rafael Valls, who's not exactly... Uh, actually, I, re I retract what I said. He's rather punchy and he's the best uh, guy in uh, acceleration in the breakaway. Uh, but yeah, Marcel Seberg will attack in uh, the uh, upcoming meters. There he goes. Marcel Seberg making his move alongside Angel Madrazo. Everyone's attacked. Let's just make sure that uh, Rafael Valls gets all the points at the summit of the Port de la Colada de Tothes. And it's... First place for Rafael Valls, Tuzvel, Valgren, and Marcel Sieberg gets in. That's my guy. Big up Marcel Sieberg. Meanwhile, in the peloton, uh, Batalin can stop pacing. So can Mark Cavendish. Uh, because Mark could potentially fight for today's win, uh, if we're honest. But yeah, the main thing today uh, was to get the jersey back for Rafael Valls. And we've just done that. Huge crash. Huge, huge crash involving... Oh my god! Has the peloton stopped? No. Mm -hmm. All right. Right. Hello. I'm a dickhead. Let's pace. I don't give a shit. Let's pace. Because this is absolute. Tadej Pogacar's out. Tadej Pogacar is out of the Volta Catalonia. Goodbye, Tadej. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Hey, goodbye. I don't know why I'm singing. Because it's best sad. Uh, but yeah, there's also Bernal uh, dropped uh, and a lot of other good riders. So I believe that pacing was like a good idea because I could take time on them, but they're catching me. So, I mean, it's kind of dead, isn't it? I don't know why I took a Roadman accent for this. Um, but yeah, 125. I'm just going to try and like pace to see if we can try something. Uh, Fran why is Francisco Ventoso pacing uh, Kilrainen, I get it. Vincenzo Nibali. But CCC, do you have Zakarin? Is, it, uh, is uh, Zakarin here? No. Are you pacing for Patrick Bevin? I uh, hope not. Maybe Jan Hert. I still hope you're not. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of dead. And the other dead thing is the state of my riders. But it makes sense because I'm pacing 90. Why isn't Jumbo helping me? Like, big man, I've you've got Roglic and I've, everyone's dropped. Uh, well... I guess they'll come back. Uh, I mean, we still have Tadej Pogacar gone, so that's a place on the podium nearly assured now for Mikelanda. I just need to finish, unless my karma becomes a bitch. All right, back to business in the breakaway, though. 
Uh, we're about to, to, cro to cross the summit of the Colliette de San Agusti. Once again, Ma Marcel Sieberg will take the lead of the peloton. Angel Mara wait, Angel Marrazzo really has two teammates and none of them are helping him. That's peak. He gets the ball. And uh, Esquera in the wheel of uh, the current leader of the mountain classification. Marcel Sieberg though, nearly finishing his work. There goes Rafael Valls. Making a move on the left hand side of the road, Marcel Seberg is not going to drop to blocks or anybody. Uh, and Rafael Valls takes uh, maximum points. That's 89 now for Rafael Valls, 78 for Angel Madrazzo. Right, 30 kilometers remaining in this stage. Uh, the situation has slightly evolved, um, both for the peloton and the breakaway. Some others have been dropped from uh, the main group, mainly uh, Marcel Seberg. Because f following the uh, Coyet de, uh, del San Agusti, it just became weird. Uh, but yeah, Rafael Valls is still here, struggling though. Peloton, still here. Marcel Seberg, World Pulse, Enrico Batalin, somewhere at Mikel Landa. There we go. Uh, let's have him being protected, by the way. I don't want to uh, to use Mikel Landa too much here. Mark Cavendish has been dropped. So has uh, Alfred Wright. Uh, with Cavendish gone, the, uh, that's my uh, chances of a mass sprint win. Gone uh, by the same way. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, now just try and hope. That Rafael Valls um, can either win or do well, uh, or then we'll just count on Mikel Landa, Batalin, Wurpfels, and technically Marcel Sieber. There's 14 kilometers remaining in today's stage. Uh, we're going to catch the former two guys, uh, the final two guys in the break. That's make no, that's literally not the sentence I wanted to say, but we'll go with it. Antonio Rue and Nathan Haas have attacked uh, in the breakaway. We're going to try and catch them. Rafael Valls is doing well. Um, so is Enrico Batalin, who's now pacing at the front of the peloton with uh, Wurpuls and Mikel Landa. And will attack on the right-hand side. Tony Galopin and Luke Mesgetsch. That's weird. But why not? I mean, I'm used now to PCM doing weird stuff. Batalin has done a solid job. And uh, actually, we've managed to catch the breakaway here. Uh, only Nathan Haas remaining uh, in the, the group. Battalion, Wurpuls, Mikelanda, everyone's still here. Marcel Seberg, somewhere here. Mm, Rafael Valls is going to stop. Because, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know how to do this, if I'm honest. I don't know how to manage the, the, this finish. Uh, this is nerve-wracking. I don't know what to do. Wait, is that Luka Mesgetsch? Wait. Oh. Enric Mas and Luka Mesgetsch are already in the group up front. Hmm. I see. Not ideal. Oh, Richard Carapaz is there. Oh, Chris Froome is there. Wait, why is Egan... So, Ineos have attacked without Egan Bernal. That's odd. Uh, Rafael Valls in the wheel of Richard Carapaz. I mean, have fun, mate. Enjoy your sprint. If if there is if there is an English, if there even for fuck's sake, if there is even a sprint. There we go. Took me seventy billion years to say this sentence. Uh, but yeah, we'll have a, a sprint in the break. Rafael Valles Carapaz, Tony Galopin, my will will most likely be the winner. Um. Okay, let's let's launch the sprint now. Let's also launch the sprint right now with Robert Balls uh, and Mikel Landa. Come on, Rafael. Go on. Go on, lad. Oh, yeah, there's Luka Mesgetsch. Yeah, that's dead. Right, so win for Luka Mesgetsch ahead of Tony Galopin. Rafael Valls, can you hold on to that place? Yes, he can. Primoz Roglic, Enric Mas, Pierre-Luc Perichon, Jacob Fulsang, Richard Carapaz, Patrick Bevin, Mikel Landa, Emmanuel Bourman, Gilbert, and all the lads. No changes whatsoever in the GC, except everyone moving up one position because of Tadej Pogacar. Right, so sprint stage today in Span in in Spanish? No, in Spain. Um, and uh, I mean, yeah, uh, 160 kilometers to go. We'll try to win with Mark Cavendish. He's got a plus one. He's in a fitness peak. Uh, and I mean, you know what Mark Cavendish in a fitness peak means? Because I don't. I'm gonna guess it means a win. At least that's what I hope. Uh, some attacks already. We've got Brian Van Goten, uh, Igor Canton, Miguel Angel Flores. Miguel Angel? Nope. Um, we'll call him Miguel Ecuador. I'm just making names up at this point. Gil Reinen, uh, we've got Dai Lopez. 
Great. <laughs> I'm going to guess it's Diego Lopez. Uh, Scott Thwaites for Alpes in Phoenix. Mikael Valguen, once again, Tomasz Marzinski. Um, Lincoln Abrahamson. I know his name is not Lincoln. I'm, I'm aware. Anyone else? No? Aye, right, great. Soon to finish. Right, well, it turns out the breakaway might win. Because 62k to go, 30 minutes is their lead. Uh, so, yeah. Mark Avinch won't win today. And that's a fucking shame. Uh, you know what? Should I try to pace? Let's let's just pace in this time. I just want to see what would happen if we were to pace. Right, 5 kilometers to go. And the breakaway has a 3 minute lead. So they are indeed going to win uh, today's race. We'll take a look at, um, at the final sprint. There's 5 riders from Uno X. Oh, you better win. You better win. Come on, you know, X. Well, let me just uh, launch my sprint with what Paul said, but truly couldn't give, couldn't give a, fit, um, a fuck. Come on. Kilrainen in the lead. We've got Flores. Come back from uh, Hulgard. 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 And Uno X are going to bottle this against a one-man team. I honestly am so triggered. I'm so pissed. You had... Five riders, you had one job, one job, out of 13 riders, you've got one guy in the top five, that's peak. Let's launch this with Marcel Sieberg here. Oh wow, Marcel Sieberg couldn't even overtake Christian Sbargli. I would have been third of the final sprint with Marcel Sieberg, nice. Right, final stage, here we go, and we're on the way for the final stage of this uh, Volta Ciclista Catalunya. We will send once again Rafael Valls in the breakaway. Uh, I mean, his fitness isn't the best. We might as well uh, send him with someone else. I'd have liked to send him um, to send him in the break. Sorry, with uh, someone like Enrico Batalin. But sadly, Enrico Batalin is not exactly uh, in a good position to attack right now. We're not going to send Mark Cavendish because I'm not suicidal. Uh, attack from Balgan, I guess. Yes, great. This man has attacked every single fucking day. Like, just take a, I don't know, have a break, have a kick out, but stop attacking. You're like the Cyril Bart of, of, of the Volta Ciclista Catalunya. And Cyril Bart really pissed me off. But at least he won something. You didn't. Well, actually, didn't Michael Valgren get bodied by Cyril Bart in my save on Paris? I'm pretty sure he did. So he's even worse than Cyril Bart. And that's peak. Crash. Crash, Mikel Lander. Mikel Landa's gone on the floor. Mikel Landa is down. We need Mikel Landa to come back extremely aggressively in the peloton. And we don't need Kilrainen to attack right now. Alright, you three, stop right now. We're going to need Mikel Landa to come back as soon as possible. I'm not kidding. Kilrainen. I was about to say they're a bit, but they've, they're literally doing what I did when, when like, their leaders crashed. So, I can't really say anything, can I? Uh, Alright, you three. They're going to pace 99. And Mikelanda, you're going to take their wheels. There we go. Alright, come on. Chop, chop. Let's come back in this shit. Who's dropped as well? Jonathan Dibbon. Nice. Rafael Valls is in the break, uh, but I'm pretty sure I'm guaranteed now to win the uh, mountain classification. Because I don't think um, Mr. What's his name? Marazzo is in the break. Uh, and he's not. Marcel Seberg, Wright, and Batalin have managed to pull Mikel Landa back into the peloton, which is great. Uh, let's just bring all these guys at the front and crash. Crash from Angel Marazzo. Speaking of the devil, Marazzo is down with Sergio Semitier and Dai Lopez. And uh, none of these two guys will retire. Nice. Decent. All right, we've had a we've had a, a scary moment with Mikel Landa. Uh, let's make sure that this is the only one of today's stage. Crash again, and this time Jakob Flussong is down. Jakob Flussong, Alex Lutsenko, and Daniel Fominik. Okay, we don't give a shit about Daniel Fominik, but Lutsenko and Jakob Flussong, and that's big because Jakob Flussong is in seventh place of the GC. Jay Hindi is also down with Luis and Sanchez. A crash that affected mainly Sunweb and Astana riders. Uh, will they come back? Most likely, oh, actually, they're going to come back into a group that is currently dropped. A group in which we can find uh, the likes of Leonard Kemner, uh, Markle Seberg, Markle? No, Marcel. 
not Markle, fucking, uh, he ain't called Megan Markle Seabag. Uh, but yeah, there's 30 kilometers remaining. Jakob Fulsang is currently two minutes behind the group peloton. Um, well, we'll let's see if he comes back. Uh, but I'm not exactly um, uh, optimistic for him. Crash in the breakaway this time. It's Mikel Biscara and Pierre-Luc Perichon who've uh, tasted the uh, Spanish ground. I guess the, uh, the the rain just really doesn't uh, doesn't help on that kind of weather. The rain doesn't help on that kind of weather. Fuck you, Black Hole. Like, you're genuinely shit. Uh, no, the rain doesn't help on that kind of um, of tarmac. Maybe they, I don't know, like, obviously the peloton should have been wearing uh, wet tires from Pirelli and, and not like hyper soft but yeah uh, 13 riders still in the front one minute is daily 25 kilometers to go we're going to get water uh, hopefully with Alfred Wright uh, and yeah we'll try and do well with Mikel Landa we can't I mean it's gonna be very hard to like gain any time on Bernal and Carapaz uh, I can't fight anyone for third place because I mean I'm third and Tadej Pogacar is gone so yeah it's taken away a bit of um, a bit of the uh, of this the saver, no, the saver, no, the, the, um... oh my god, what, I'm for, oh, I'll crash for Patrick Bevin now, and crash, Philippe Gilbert, Philippe Gilbert is down, and that's, that's big if he retires, but he doesn't, Patrick Bevin does, and Boivin does, big up riders starting with B and ending in Vin, because they're all falling down, Mikel Landa is behind World Pulse, uh, who himself is behind Batalin, technically speaking, that's how it works, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pace now, because Alfred Wright is, uh, I'm not gonna say the word useless, but doesn't serve an incredible purpose here, he doesn't help the, 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 the he doesn't do anything, if I'm honest. Let's have Batalin get water, and let's have Wokepools stop his effort. Mean, in the meantime, Rafael Valls is still in the breakaway, uh, there is one guy though on his own, and it's Malcolm Valgren. I chat show by him, and, uh, well, he might just clap me back with a win which is the best clap back possible for someone oh, is that George Bennett is that George Bennett or is this Chris Harper it is Chris Harper Chris Harper is gone off this uh oh, there you go Chris Harper and Patrick Bevin goodbye bye bye you've had a nice run it was fun but your time's over mate your time's up uh Bazalin has managed to give water to the boys and he's going to take the lead of the peloton. Two minutes now. A lead of two minutes for um, Mikel Valgren. He's really going to try and clap me back with a win. Fair play to the lad. 24 riders left in the main peloton. Jakob Fulsang is still not there. He's going to try everything he can to come back. Uh, we've just lapped a few guys here and there. Called Fager Haug and some riders from Euskadi Morias. Rafael Valls is out of energy. We won't be able to catch Jakob Fulsang. Um, at least not Rafael Valls. Should I stop him? Yeah, I have. I, I, do I? No, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah, sure. We'll stop him. We'll stop him. Uh, come on, Enrico, mate. Well, Pulse, do something. I'm going to need uh, Rafael Valls' help to uh, to try and help Wout Pulse propel Mikel Landa towards hopefully a dub. Well, I mean, the dub will be extremely hard to get here, if I'm honest. What's the gap? 129, 122. We're gonna, uh, we're literally gonna climb uh, the um, the hill of Monruic, of Monruic, sorry, uh, as a sprint. There goes Wopuls. We're gonna go on, uh, on the inside of the road. Wopuls with Mikelanda in the wheel. Carapaz is immediately here. So is Primoz Roglic and Egan Bernal. So no one is gonna get surprised by an attack from Mikelanda right now, just before the summit. Mikel Landa attacking, Primo Roglic in the wheel, Vincent anybody? Chris Froome is getting dropped, but that was to be expected. World Pulse is still here, where's Mikel Landa? Oh, there's a little gap, there's a little gap for Mikel Landa. Like, a little gap. But Primo Roglic is going to uh, bridge this gap, I believe. Uh, Mikel Landa and Sebastian Reichenbach here. Where's World Pulse? Just behind. Any signs of um, Carapaz? Because he's also a threat. Carapaz is dropped. Okay. Should I follow Sebastian Reichenbach? No. Should I sprint? Yes. Are we going to overtake Mikael Valgren? Yes. And the win for Luke Mesgetsch. Fuck you.
Bernal gets second, Primoz Roglic, Reichenbach Oliveira, uh, London Nibali, Valgren, and Carapaz. Now, if there's a gap, oh my god, the gap is burned, like, according to the game, the gap is 14 seconds, the actual gap is 13 in the GC. So either PCM are going to get 14 or none. Or 12. And if they get 12, I will retire from this game. Right, we'll take a look at the podiums. Uh, but no, I'm seeing no gaps between Carapaz and, uh, and the rest of us. It's a win for Luke Mesgetch. He's uh, third, I believe, on this Vuelta Catalunya, which he fully dominated. Bernal and Primoz Roglic will complete today's podium. Speaking of podiums, Egan Bernal will stay on one, uh, taking the top flight. And uh, this Volta Catalunya, 20 seconds ahead of Carapaz, 23 ahead of Mikel Landa, uh, and a, uh, I mean, Tage, Tage Tale Pugatar, who used to be there. I'm not going to cut out all the weird noises I'm making. Like, I genuinely couldn't be asked. I'm so, I'm tired. I'm not, I've been awake for pff, solid 27 hours now, so I don't give a shit. Uh, one of my satisfactions of today's, uh, well, of actually of this week's tour, Rafael Valls taking the uh, best climber classification and uh, bringing this home. So well done, Rafael. Luka Mesgic wins the points classification ahead of Egan Bernal and Primoz Roglic. Best from Guada is once again going to be Egan Bernal, who walked, like him and Mesgic walked across this this tour. Like walked all over this tour. There was nothing funny. And the best team is, oh, what a surprise, Ineos. We're second. Woohoo, 20 minutes behind. All right, Mesgic gets the win. Uh, Whirlpool's in 12th. The first gaps were on the 14th position. Uh, so yeah. Carapaz is being saved by the bell here. Uh, and yeah, we finish in third place of this Volta Catalunya. It's not too bad. Obviously, Mikel Landa, who will try and win, uh, well, who will try and compete on both the Tour de France and the, uh, uh, the Vuelta. That's, uh, I mean, we we walked across, uh, we walked over theory, the uh, opposition on Paris. Igan Bernal makes it 1 all with this one in Catalunya. But anyway, this is where we'll wrap this episode. Uh, before we start, I just wanted to say, I know that you guys in the comments have told me to record some um, uh, continental races. Uh, so I will do so. I have no idea as to how I'm going to include them uh, in the videos, but I, I know I will at one point. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll make entire tours. Like, I might just do mountain races here and there, or like a nice sprint stage. Uh, is, is there... Is there such a thing as a nice sprint stage because I don't believe that there is a thing like that uh, but we might do the Etna on the Giro del Sicilia we might do uh, the Tour of the Alps in its entirety because it's one of my objectives uh, yeah I haven't figured out everything but we'll do something don't worry uh, we'll figure it out uh, but yeah if you've enjoyed this episode uh, please please do leave a like down below uh, <laughs> I'm sorry again for uh, my lack of English in the second part of this video, uh, but yeah, as I said, I'm 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 not good. I have no energy left, but I I needed to record because otherwise I wouldn't be able to upload the video tomorrow, uh, and I can't record tomorrow. So yeah, I had to be there. Uh, hopefully, the next episodes will be a uh, a bit more um, joyful, I guess. Uh, actually, not the next one because the next one I'm recording it at the same time as today, and I'm st still dead. Uh, but yeah. Uh, expect the episode like starting from the Rondo. Uh, I don't know what episode this is. I'm gonna guess this is episode uh, seven. Nope, six. Uh, we'll go with episode six. So I think that's six, which means Milano San Remo, Gamoville game, all them lot. That's episode seven. So from episode eight onwards, hopefully, hopefully, I should be uh, uh, finally um, in form, I guess. Uh, but yeah, as I said, if you've enjoyed the episode, please, please do leave a like down below, it would really mean a lot. If you're new around here and wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. We're, we're on a mission. Like, we, uh, we've done bits. It, uh, since the start of 2020, which was actually 30 years... Uh, <laughs> nope, not 30 years ago, fuck's sake. 30 days ago, uh, we, we over... Well, I, mean, I started on 687, we're currently on 747, which is an increase of 60. Wait, no, did I say 697 or 687? Yeah, 687. So it is an increase of 60 subscribers, which is huge. And I really didn't believe that I'd be able to, like, have uh, such numbers this early on in the year. Um, so I'll say it. My, my aim is that at the end of the cycling season, uh, absolutely not, no. At the end of the Tour de France, right, let's, let's be, say Tour de France, I want 
1,000 subs. That, that's my aim. So if you lot that aren't subscribers but watch my content regularly, please do subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and it means the world to me. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> so I'll see you in the very near future. In the meantime, I've been back. Always been an absolute pleasure <laughs> talking to you today, guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. What am all the money feeding? I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bear. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up, I'm out with the duster. Put him in the drip and sip, love buster.